So we're now at the Norris Geyser Base, and this is where a lot of the hot springs are. water to be able to move. You need it to be able to sit in one spot, to be able to build up pressure, right? Um, so we need good, we need rhyolite rock. That's what supplies um, our, our, our plumbing system underground. Right, but we're here at Crackling Lake right now. That's what's behind me. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the animals here, right? Because um, believe it or not, animals do come through this area. Uh, you're gonna see some scat throughout throughout a, your, your walk here, right? Not sure you're in the winter. You know, it, it's a passageway to get to where they're going. But, do you hang out here very long? Well, I would. There's no food, right? They 
got that name from the natives, right? They're very tall, straight trees, so they were great for lodges, right? So lodgepole pines is what 80% of our forests are. They have a few adaptations to, to be able to hang out, but their taproot doesn't go very deep. So they don't send their roots very deep. They hang out pretty shallow, right? And that helps them with uh, this area, right? Like I said, it, it's hot, it's acidic. The minerals are terrible for, for trees, for plants, right? So if they don't send their roots very deep, they can avoid that heat, they can avoid that acidity, and they can try to avoid some of those minerals, right? Now, a con to that, right? If you don't send your roots very deep, you're not necessarily the most stable, right? So a stiff wind comes in and they can throw these trees right over. You know, another big one here at Yellowstone, fire, right? The forest fire comes through, it cleans out that litter, it opens up an area, and now animals are gonna come through, new plants get to grow, it adds new life, and the forest fixes itself, which is unbelievably important and vital and we actually we learned about that because of Yellowstone, you know. Right, the white from silica, that's where porcelain gets its name. Right, so anything that's white out there is more like silica. You know, the red, the oranges, there's a lot of iron. There's also arsenic that I've brought up a few times, right? Very, very poisonous, not a great thing. And some of the, the microorganisms, right? We have bacteria, we, we have uh, archaea, which is the single cell organism. We, we have algae out there, that's what those greens are. That can turn uh, sulfur, hydrogen sulfide is the gas. They can turn that into sulfuric acid, right? Sulfuric acid is, is the acid that we have here, and it comes from the sulfur, right? That's where you get your lovely smell, so that you get to see, you get to experience this, you get to have these stories, right? You get to bring them home. And then for the next five million people that come this summer, you know, they get to do the same. It's going in your video. Everything here is, is getting in your video too. Okay.